monoclonal antibodies and COVID. Trials in the UK have found a monoclonal antibody cocktail effective in some patients with severe COVID-19. What is this treatment and how does it compare with plasma therapy and how much promise does it hold? An experimental monoclonal antibody cocktail Regencov2 has been found to be life-saving treatment for some of the most severely affected COVID-19 patients. Results of a clinical trial in the UK have shown how important are the findings for management of COVID-19 including in India. So what are monoclonal antibodies? To fight a viral infection, our body creates proteins known as antibodies. Monoclonal antibodies are artificial antibodies that mimic the activity of our immune system. They are produced through a process that involves extracting specific antibodies from human blood and, then, and cloning them. These monoclonal antibodies are designed to target a virus or a specific part of one. For instance, reason cov 2 is a cocktail of two monoclonal antibodies developed to target the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. The monoclonal antibodies bind to specific parts of the spike protein blocking is its ability to infect healthy cells. Besides COVID-19, monoclonal antibodies have been used in the treatment of cancer as well as Ebola and HIV. How important are they in COVID-19 treatment? Research during the pandemic has increased optimism in monoclonal antibodies' ability to help reduce the risk of hospitalization. Some monoclonal antibodies have shown the ability to retain activity against multiple variants of the virus, suggested Dr. Anthony Fossey, Chief Medical Advisor to the U.S. President and Director of the U.S. National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, during a White House briefing on June 3. While a crucial and promising part of treatment, monoclonal antibodies also have limitations. So far, these therapies have shown the most success in high-risk groups with mild to moderate COVID-19. They are not approved for use in those hospitalized with severe COVID-19 and those requiring oxygen. It is very important to provide them to the right patients at the right time for greatest benefits especially in resource constraint settings according to Dr. D. Behra, a Padmasri and former HOD at PGIMER Chandigarh's Department of Pulmonology. Some emerging variants like the Delta Plus variants of interest have also displayed the ability to nullify the use of monoclonal antibodies. According to Dr. V. K. Paul, Niti Aayog member health and the chair of the National Expert Group on Vaccine Administration Against COVID-19. So what does the new study show? The University of Oxford said that last week that its recovery trials found that its hospitalized patients with severe COVID-19 who have not mounted a natural antibody response of their own. Rigeron's monoclonal antibody cocktail reduces the risk of death by a fifth compared to those who had received standard care. Thus, for every 100 such patients treated with antibody combination, there would be six fewer deaths, the university said in a release. The therapy reduced the hospital stay of patients lacking their own natural antibody response by four days. It also reduced the risk of requiring a ventilator. However, no such benefits are seen in the overall study population, which includes patients who have been able to mount a natural antibody response. These findings basically mean that the therapy would be most beneficial for those who have not been able to develop their own antibody response even if they had developed severe symptoms or been hospitalized. With 9785 participants between September 2020 and May 2021, this is the first trial large enough to determine definitive whether this treatment reduces death in hospitalized patients with severe COVID-19. This is significant given that therapy has so far only been approved for mild to moderate COVID patients. Is this therapy available in India? Region Cov 2 is available in India through a tie-up between Swiss drug giant Rossi and Indian company Sipla. The therapy is a combination of monoclonal antibodies, Casirmab and Ivdimab 
had received the Central Drug Standard Control Organization restricted emergency use permission in May. In the beginning of June, another antibody cocktail therapy, Ali Illilis, Bamimab, and Etismab, received a similar emergency approval. Both antibody cocktails are indicated for use in those with mild to moderate COVID-19 who do not require oxygen and who are at high risk of progressing to severe disease. GlaxoSmithKin, which ha- on May 26 had announced the US FDA's emergency use approval for Sotrivimab, is exploring options to make the monoclonal antibody therapy available for India. In India, Jaidas Cadillac plans to take an antibody cocktail ZRC3308 through trials. Is it expensive? Such therapies are expensive because they are difficult to make and take a lot of time. In India, Sipla is supplying 1 lakh packs of Ridge Cove 2 at a maximum retail price of approximately 1.20 lakh per pack. With one pack offering treatment for two patients, the price for of a dose for one patient is 59,750 inclusive of all taxes. Ali Lilly is engaged in active dialogue with the Indian government to donate its antibody cocktail for COVID-19 patients. Monoclonal antibodies have to be made tissue culture, said Dr. Aturo Castevel, chair of the Department of Molecular microbiology and immunology at the john hopkins bloomberg school of public health you have to grow the cells and these cells have to produce the protein which the needs to be purified dr casa devil said in the school's public health or on call podcast on november 2 how do monoclonal antibodies compare with covalent plasma therapy india last month dropped the use of covalent plasma on an off-label option from its guidance on COVID-19 treatment. Over the last eight months, evidence from the trials has shown it has no significant benefits in improving patient outcomes. Compared with plasma, scientists have expressed more confidence in the promise of monoclonal antibodies. Both antibody-based therapies that differ in the way they are made. Covalent plasma therapy involves providing antibodies from a recovered COVID-19 patient's plasma. This means that those receiving this therapy would be getting all the antibodies the recovered patient has made. Monoclonal antibodies are when you are you take a specific antibody and mass manufacture it in a factory. For antibody cocktails, you provide a combination two or more such antibodies. Monoclonal antibodies are extremely pure due to their Homogeneous nature, Dr. Fossey told Med Page today in August. The difference between monoclonal antibodies and the covalent plasma that has a lot of other things in it, which could lead to allergy and other reactions, Fossey said. The data from clinical trials of monoclonal antibodies at the time indicated they are very promising form of prevention and treatment, Dr. Fossey had said. Thank you.